dear students in this lecture we will be discussing a technique of plant biotechnology which is called polymerase chain reaction or pcr so what is pcr the full form is polymerase chain reaction and this is popularly also called as people's choice reaction pcr or polymerase chain reaction was invented in year 1983 by carry mullis for which he got nobel prize uh, for this invention now what is pcr pcr is a method to amplify dna in large amount and this technique uses basically three reactions uh, using a machine so the machine which is used for this uh, technique is called thermocycler or thermocycler is the machine which uses which is used in this technique to amplify dna it is a very expensive machine and there are basically uh, three reactions which are used in this machine which is a thermocycler and thermocycler exposes reactants to a repeated cycles of heating and cooling uh, so in this repeated uh, cycles of heating and cooling there are three basic reactions and these reactions are denaturation annealing and extension so in pcr uh, there these three reactions are done with the help of a special enzyme which is called tac polymerase and why it is called tac polymerase because it was isolated from thermus aquaticus so from th thermus aquaticus um, uh, uh, attack the word tag comes and because it is a polymerase it can uh, synthesize dna so th that is why this is tag polymerase also this is a special enzyme because it can tolerate very high temperatures so a special enzyme called tag polymerase is used which can tolerate very high temperatures and this tag polymerase was isolated from thermus aquaticus so there are three reactions in the technique of pcr here you can see the three reactions these are denaturation annealing and extension so you can see here in the picture that uh, in the first step denaturation is happening where the two strands of dna represented in blue they are separated at hot temperature or high temperature in the second step you can see is annealing where the primers which are represented in green they get annealed to the target dna according to their homology and the third step which is called extension the primer is extended by the tag polymerase enzyme in the direction of 5 prime to 3 prime and the here at the bottom you can see the picture of a thermocycler or a PCR machine so what are the requirements of uh, the PCR so these are the requirements of PCR you can see here these are small uh, micro centrifuge tubes uh, which are also called PCR tubes and these are also called um, they have a capacity of uh, very uh, small amount so you can uh, see that uh, these are also called uh, ependoff tubes and in this append of tubes or micro centrifuge tubes you can set the reaction mixture so what are the uh, components of this pcr uh, reaction mixture these are your um, um, dna sample which is our target dna then primers which have sequence homology with the target dna then dntps or nucleotides uh, so that the dna polymerase can add these dntps then of course tag polymerase or the dna polymerase then there is a buffer which is used and then this is your append of tube or pcr tube so pcr tube uh, they uh, come in various various sizes so they are very small append of tubes so this is a thermocycler or this is a thermocycler so all these react components they are put inside the uh, append of tube or micro centrifuge tube you can see here uh, these are the components which are uh, put in this micro centrifuge tube tag polymerase dna nucleotides primer and then these this is put in this thermocycler and the 
thermocyclic is set uh, uh, um, for hours. So, in one cycle of PCR, you can see that suppose we put it uh, of, of put the denaturation for one minute. So, during denaturation, say we are keeping for one minute, annealing we are keeping for one minute, and say we are uh, extension also we are keeping for one minute. So, one cycle has say three minutes. So, suppose we are keeping the thermocycler, we are setting the thermal thermocycler for 36 cycles. So, this will be 36 into 3 minutes. So, so ultimately, uh, this will be approximately 3 hours. So, in this um, 3 hours of time, suppose we are keeping picograms of DNA, it will be amplified to a higher amount, which will be your micrograms of DNA. So, that is why this technique is called amplification of DNA. Now, here you can see that th this is a microcentrifuge tube or the PCR tube in which all the components are there, all the reactants have been put, DNA template, primers, DNTPs and DNA polymerase, this is double stranded of uh, DNA and when the denaturation occurs at high temperature, say this is 94 degrees Celsius, the two strands of DNA are separating and then in the next step which is annealing, the temperature you can see here is 954 degrees Celsius. So, we have to actually standardize uh, the different uh, denaturation alleening and extension time for each DNA and then after standardization the thermocycler is set. So, you can see that during annealing uh, which is um, uh, the temperature is lower than the denaturation temperature here in this picture you can see that the annealing temperature is 54 degrees Celsius. So, here the th primers are annealing and then the primers are annealing and then in the next uh, step that is your extension during extension the primers are extended by DNA polymerase or tag polymerase in 5 prime to 3 prime direction so that this chain is extended. So, here, here you can see that this is your tag polymerase which is shown in purple here and this tag polymerase it is extension during the extension the temperature is again increased to increases to uh, more than uh, it is more than annealing temperature so you can see here it is 72 degrees celsius so here you can see that after annealing the dna molecule has synthesized and originally uh, from one dna molecule we are getting two dna molecules. So, in the next cycle you will see that from the two DNA molecules you can get uh, 8, uh, 4 and from 4 to 8 and so on. So, each cycle of uh, PCR consists of a denaturation and healing and extension and suppose we are setting each cycle for uh, each step for 1, 1, 1 minute. So, one cycle has 3 minutes. So, this and suppose we are putting setting the thermocyclers for 36 cycles. So, ultimately the time will be calculating, calculated according to the uh, time duration for one cycle. So, here you can see this is another picture where you, you can see that this is a double stranded DNA molecule. Say uh, here uh, the it is it, rep it is represented the total amount of DNA in picograms. Pg represents picogram and so here this is your uh, DNA double stranded DNA and then DNTPs primers and polymerase is added. So, in, in one cycle these three steps happen uh, these three steps happening happening denaturation annealing and extension and during this cycle you can see that um, uh, during denaturation the uh, double stranded DNA has separated annealing primers have annealed an extension this primer has been extended by um, tag polymerase so that from one molecule of DNA we are getting two molecules of DNA then in second cycle you can see that from these two molecules of DNA these uh, we are getting four molecules of DNA in third cycle from four we are getting third and so on so the total DNA which was originally picogram it will be amplified to micrograms of DNA so this was the technique of a PCR or also called as polymerase ch chain reaction and I hope you have understood it and you can refer books 
of biotechnology to understand this better. Thank you students.